Hello, ladies and boys, girls, dogs, and cats, and welcome back to Calm Down and Level Up. Today we're here again, holy shit, welcome back to Annex Only, No Factions, AI Only, let's go. Jeez, if you guys remember last time, Mexico declared war on the U.S. Now that was very surprising, because um, Mexico, I mean, Mexico likes to do this thing where they build a super huge army um, that they can't support, 516 divisions actually they do have manpower now but they are attacking into stronger american divisions even though america has only like 70 divisions or so 88 um so mexico has this massive army they have way too many divisions for the states that their guys are in they're suffering from attrition i don't even think that their divisions are that good they're probably pretty small and pretty uh not very strong in order to you know attack over the border like look at all these cavalry divisions they have 19 um, military factories to support these all of these divisions so if they are able to break America and get past this it's probably over for America because of all these cavalry divisions that they can spread out super fast but as long as America can hold this very very small line here I think Mexico is eventually just gonna run out of manpower and supplies and then America's smaller army will push down here and they'll break through America and or they'll break through Mexico and Mexico will be defeated but Here's the thing, U.S. is actually also at war with, oh no, the Confederation is at war with Texas. The U.S. is justifying on Texas. So Texas is in a bit of trouble here. California still has not changed, it is just sitting there. Um, Quebec is trying to invade New England, but it's like going really slowly for some reason, and uh, they're not advancing. So if they were to advance, New England would capitulate and this war would be over. Canada just justified on Quebec as well. So Quebec, if they don't clean this war up over here with New England, they're going to get destroyed by Canada pretty soon. But look at this. Poland has finally annexed Germany. Rest in pepperonis. Jeez. So the Czechs and the Polish both now control bits of Germany. Now the Poles are at war with Austria still um, because Austria joined the war against um, Poland to help defend Germany for some reason. I'm not sure how that worked out because, you know, you can't create factions and stuff, so I'm not sure how that happened. Um, so now the Poles are attacking Austria. Austria does have a bit of a safety net here because this is the only tile that they can get through. Um, and I think it's mountains. It is mountains. So that's going to be hard to push through and Austria can stack its divisions there. It's going to be very hard. But Austria, don't push out, okay? That's a, that's a really dumb idea. Jeez. Don't do that. Now the Czechs are in a good position as well, unless they get attacked by the Polish. If they were to get attacked by the Polish, it might be over unless the Polish, again, destroy their army by attacking Austria. Going over here, the Ukrainians are invading Belarus with a much larger and stronger army, as you can see here. It looks like both sides are suffering from a bit of equipment uh, loss, like these tank divisions on Belarus side, look at that. Almost no equipment, but at the same time, over here in Ukraine, the truck divisions, almost no equipment as well. But it looks like Ukraine is going to push through um, Belarus super fast and it's all going to be over. Bangladesh was just annexed into India. So India is... Wow, look at that. That's, that's the Raj right there. They're now justifying on Thailand. Now Pakistan is still over here being a chicken. Um, it is at war with Oman. So unless anyone else declares war on Pakistan... Pakistan is not going to change. Persia is still at war with Turkey. Um, I'm not sure how long Turkey is going to hold on. I forgot what's really going on over here with this war. I, Iran has 193 divisions, no manpower. Seven military factories for 193 divisions. That just tells you about <laughs> a little bit about that country. Jeez. Um, 13 military factories for Turkey's 88 divisions with manpower as well. So... I guess a little bit of an edge to Turkey here, but they won't be able to push through all of Iran unless unless all of Iran's divisions die. Like there's 58 divisions right here that could possibly kill themselves by running into Turkish divisions over and over and over again. But Ethiopia declared war in Tanzania. We've been waiting on that one for a while. Um, looks like Ethiopia's got 100 divisions out, only four military factories for all of their divisions. Ethiopia, what are you doing? Tanzania has five for their 56 divisions. So Tanzania has one more factory, but 
Um, Ethiopia has twice as many divisions, which is probably going to give Ethiopia a victory here. Wow, South Sudan is being justified on by Burundi, um, Zaire, Zaire, and Tanzania. Everyone is justifying on South Sudan, except for Sudan. And Angola is now justifying on Cameroon. I think they might have already been doing that. Yeah, 122 days. So they were definitely doing that a while back. That is actually a very smart country to attack. Look at how many countries Cameroon has already taken out. They've conquered most of Equatorial Guinea. Of course, it's hard to land on this island here. Um, they've conquered Gabon. Um, and then, of course, the rest of Cameroon is still here. We have this perpetual war between Norway and Finland going on. I think it's pushed back and forth quite a bit. Um, but now it is kind of stalemated right here on this line. There are Indian divisions helping out Norway. Um, and for Finland, are there other friendlies over in Finland? It does not look like there's anyone over here supporting Finland. There's only Indians over in Norway. So N India really wants Norway to win that war for some reason. The French. You, you guys remember these guys? Remember when they were important? Well, I mean, they still are. But look at this. Look at all of these Brazilians over here helping France. Now, the Italian divisions are in terrible shape and the, the French divisions are as well so the Italians aren't really able to do anything they're able to kind of defend themselves um, but France is really falling apart because once it declared war on Spain it bit off a bit more than it could chew but I think it's more of a um, I think it's more of a stalemate right now than it is France losing or France winning but Georgia declared war on military Abkhazia okay so Georgia will finally reunite into the entirety of what Georgia used to be at least. Now look at this. Basque has a nationalist name to it. That's pretty cool. It's called Buskal Heria. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. That's pretty sweet. That's 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 actually, that's actually pretty cool that it has its own name even though it's a releasable country. Now Austria is getting volunteers from the Czechs. So the Czechs are supporting Austria. They definitely want the Austrians to win so the, the Poles don't get any ideas and start justifying on the Czechs instead. The Ukraine is right outside of Minsk, and it'll probably fall within a few days. Oh, look at that. Boom. Minsk is about to fall right there. And it has. Is that going to be capitulation for Belarus? Not quite. Just a little bit longer before I, th I would think so. The Yugoslavian state? Oh, look at that. Belarus has finally been annexed. Look at how big Ukraine is now. They control almost all of Eastern Europe except for obviously Russia. They control Slovakia, most of Hungary, and Slovenia. They are becoming like the new guardians of the Slavs at this point. But we have a new war here going on. We have Yugoslavian state versus Romania. This is actually a pretty good one. Let's check on their stats to see um, who's got the edge on the other. Uh, Yugoslavia did declare the war, and it looks like Angola finally declared war in Cameroon as well. Yugoslavia has 22 divisions, 7 military factories, and 0 manpower, whereas... Um, Romania has six divisions, three military factories, and manpower. Um, but it looks like Romania's divisions are all split up. These guys are surrounded over here. These guys are going to die fairly instantly. It, this, this tank division right here can't even recover any organization right now. Yugoslavia is definitely looking like it's going to conquer Romania. Unless Romania gets some volunteers from a very powerful country. Angola's invasion of Cameroon has begun. A lot of these divisions look like they might be getting cut off here oh my goodness a ton were just overrun there um and zaire is actually sending volunteers to angola which is probably its biggest rival out here right now i don't know why zaire would even want angola to win this war at all niger is still attacking um nigeria from the north um finally possibly going to break this let's see nigeria is Holding a few, um, well, they're holding the battles they're getting attacked in, but they're losing the, the battles that they're attacking out into Niger. So these guys will probably stalemate here for a while. It probably won't be anytime soon before we see one defeat the other. And it looks like Burundi actually declared war on South Sudan first before Zaire or um, Tanzania. Meanwhile, while this Balkan war is happening out here between Yugoslavia and Romania, Bulgaria is actually justifying on Albania. So Bulgaria will sneakily be kind of building power. It looks like Bulgaria's army is about the same size as Albania's though. So if, if Bulgaria's troops are not better and if Macedonia doesn't have good... Oh, Macedonia has 9 out of 10 infrastructure. That's actually really good. 
four out of ten, uh, four out of ten for Albania. So most likely edge to uh, Bulgaria when a war breaks out on this front between those these two guys. Tanzania now also declared war in South Sudan. Um, bad idea because uh, <laughs> you are being invaded by Ethiopia, even though Ethiopia is having a hard time. You could get your troops surrounded out here. Um, so attacking into South Sudan is not a good idea. I guess South Sudan only has two divisions, and they're both, like, not in the way at all. So you could drive a truck up here and try to take the capital before Burundi does, but it looks like Burundi's going to take it first. Yeah, they've got 94 right now. Romania was annexed into Yugoslavia. Boom! A United Balkans is finally looking like it could happen here in the future. Guinea also has now declared war on Togo. Togo is one of the last little guys here um, that have not united. <laughs> and wow, Tanzania actually was the one able to take South Sudan even though Burundi did all the work. So I guess congratulations Tanzania, you're an asshole. <laughs> Egypt has declared war on Lebanon and India has declared war on Thailand. Those are two um, little wars that are going to further secure these two countries' uh, dominance in this region. Um, Egypt needs to take out Lebanon just because, you know, there can't be any stragglers in this area. Iraq is getting absolutely sandwiched. Um, I guess they're only at war with Arabia right now. Um, if they were at war with Kurdistan, that'd be even worse, but it looks like Kurdistan doesn't even have very many divisions. They only have a couple tank divisions here and there. Look at this Indian army. 616 divisions, that's more than, uh, Mexico had. And they are just going to be dumping into Thailand. And there goes America declaring war on Texas and Bulgaria declaring war on Albania as well. So has the front changed over here in Mexico? It has not. It looks like America will probably hold this line indefinitely. Unless the Mexicans do some kind of crazy naval invasion. Or if they attack Texas, that could be a really easy and good way into the states would be to invade Texas. But it looks like the Americans are going to get Texas first. Actually, uh, the Americans invading Texas might be beneficial to uh, Mexico invading America because that would extend the border and um, America has a smaller army so that means that Mexico would be able to push into a larger border um, with Mexico's numbers that gives them an advantage. Togo was annexed into Guinea, rest in peace. Angola has actually annexed Cameroon as well and Egypt has annexed Lebanon. A ton is happening this episode, it's great. I apologize, by the way, how often this research tab pops open. It's just something that automatically pops open and there's nothing I can do about it. It's pretty annoying while recording these videos, but it's just something that happens and something we're going to have to deal with. The Russian state took two states and Georgia was annexed? I didn't even realize that Russia declared war on Georgia. Oh, you know what? Russia um, guarantees Abkhazia and they declared war on Abkhazia. So uh, Russia's like, nope, we're not letting you do that one. Oh, it looks like Russia is finally about to take out Mongolia, if they can just take the capital. There's two Japanese divisions in the Mongolian capital. An artillery division and a truck division, and they're holding on for the for dear life for Mongolia. There goes Bulgaria's invasion, continuing into Albania here. If they were able to focus their forces onto one of these spots, preferably Tirana. Actually, it looks like they finally now cut um, the country in half. They can squeeze these divisions and uh, kill them. But it looks like there is Yugoslavian support down here for uh, Bulgaria. If I was playing Yugoslavia, I definitely would not support Bulgaria. Bulgaria being a direct competitor to my need for dominance in the Balkans. Bulgaria has finally annexed Albania and America has declared war on Iraq. That just puts Iraq in, even, in an even worse spot. Oh, look at this. This is now controlled by Arabia. It's probably gonna go back though. Is it gonna go back? Actually, no, it's not gonna go back to Arabia. Wow, that really screws over Arabia, because now their troops are surrounded. <laughs> Algeria has declared war on Senegal. But anyways, guys, this that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this, make sure to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe if you guys are new. The Brazilian state declared war on Argentina. That's actually a huge one that we'll get into next episode. And I will see you guys all next time when Russia maybe finally kills Mongolia. Peace. <laughs>